Nancy Ames was born as Nancy Hamilton Alfaro into Washington, D.C. diplomatic society, the daughter of a prominent physician and granddaughter of the former president of Panama, Ricardo Joaquin Alfaro. She graduated from the Holton Arms School before attending Bennett College and completed her formal education studying for two years in Europe. Long time boy I never see Her career began with a role on Hal Prince's Tenderloin on Broadway, and it segued into singing engagements on the Supper Club circuit, Las Vegas, Reno, and Tahoe, and recording 13 albums and dozens of singles, including two hits breaking Billboard's Top 100. And now, Weekend Update. Before there was Weekend Update, Any dessert topping will do, as far as I know. There was That Was the Week That Was. That was the week that was. Goldwater Knox relief. Poor men have no beef. In Barry's book, they're schnooks. That's his firm belief. Richard Nixon announced. Nancy burst onto the national television scene on November 10, 1963, when That Was the Week That Was premiered on NBC. With the red Chinese, Bobby tries to calm the Indonese. Time magazine simplifies sex, but Eddie Fisher feels it's much more complex. Ruby's defense says his brain was maimed, and Jimmy Hoffa's huffing. I've been framed. That was the week that was. Someone to sing to me, some little song. Someone to take my heart, then give their heart to me. During the decade when variety shows reached their zenith, Nancy became a regular guest on most of the highest rated programs. Should it be you and me, I could see it would be nice. And read the chart on the wall there, and we'll see how much your vision's improved. C L O S E. Where do you see that? Uh, right here on that matchbook. Uh, close covering, close covering. <laughs> to watch a fight. I just can't look. To see those guys with that punchy look. To feel the shock of a good left hook. To the movies we go. Oh, the games people play now. Every night and every day now. Meaning what they say now, never saying what they mean. Nancy's star status led to bookings on game shows and guest roles on popular dramas. Don't you worry about a thing, lover boy. We're keeping pretty close watch over you. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go and change that ratty looking suit? And maybe I'll see you later. You really think I need to? Um, vanilla? Chocolate. <laughs> Nancy joined the writing staff of the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour and co-authored its iconic theme song. The Nancy Ames Show with Danny Ward. And now, here's Nancy. We could not be more thrilled. Miss Ginger Rogers, who is opening here... Nancy settled in Houston in the early 70s and hosted a live daily variety program also pinning its theme on the local NBC affiliate station KPRC Channel 2. So nice to see you again, you lovely lady. The Nancy Ames show ended in 1979, and by 1982, Nancy and her husband Danny Ward formed Ward and Ames, a special events production and management company. Since its founding, Ward and Ames has produced major events that include five presidential inaugural celebrations in Washington, D.C. Ongoing corporate clients include Google, Hess, Kohler, BHP, Liberty Mutual Insurance, and others. TMC clients include Texas Children's Hospital, Houston Methodist, Memorial Hermann, and MD Anderson Cancer Center. 
They produce notable birthday celebrations for President George H.W. Bush for his 75th and 80th, and both events were televised. The 50th, 60th, 70th, and 75th anniversary celebrations they produce for MD Anderson Cancer Center raised more than $80 million. Last year, the One America Appeal nationally broadcast concert featuring five former U.S. presidents raised over $42 million for hurricane relief with star performances by Lady Gaga, Lyle Lovett, Alabama, and many others. Television has been a major part of many of the events that we've had the privilege of producing. One Houston United was the first to be simulcast on five Houston television stations and raised three and a half million dollars for flood victims of Tropical Storm Allison. A segment we produced, The Night the Rains Came, was, I'm proud to say, awarded a national Emmy from the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. For her career during the structural shaping of television, a career spanning more than 50 years, from the golden age of television into the digital age of television, we salute Nancy Ames and proudly induct her into the gold circle of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. <laughs>